good morning students today we are going to discuss item analysis under this topic we will discuss what is an item analysis why we have to do item analysis how to analyze an item what do you think is an item analysis well item analysis is a simple process where we check the quality of items it is defined as a process which examines students' response to individual item in order to assess the quality of an item. It is also defined as a process of examining response to each item in terms of its difficulty level and discrimination power as well as the pattern of response for each item. In item analysis, what we are doing is we are calculating difficulty index, discriminating power and pattern of response. Later we will study what is difficulty index, what is discrimination power and then what is pattern of response. In simple we can say that an item analysis is process of checking the quality of item by calculating difficulty index, discrimination power and pattern of response. Now we will discuss why we are analyzing the item. Main reason why we are analyzing item is to make decision in three areas. Which item to be eliminated? If your item is not good, you have to remove the item because we don't want poor quality item. Which items to be modified? Some items can be modified then and then you can retain and which items to be to be retained that is which items to retain so we can retain good quality item in our cushion bank so that we can have we can use in future after analyzing the item teacher can conduct more valid tests this is because good quality item in a test will measure what is supposed to be measured so this is validity validity you all know that one then like item analysis saves teachers time after analyzing items teacher will have a good set of question or item in the question bank so this will definitely save teachers time then like it also help teacher to become a better item writer generally and the item analysis tell us how difficult item is how well item discriminate between high and low, low achieving student and then what is the pattern of response to an item you should know that we conduct item analysis after conducting tests because we need students response that is students and script item analysis yes of selected response selected re response items are also known as objective item is slightly different from the item analysis of constructed response item constructed response items are also also known as essay type items now we will discuss item analysis for selective response item that is objective items first we will discuss for multiple choice item we will discuss item analysis for multiple choice item important point in order to con conduct item analysis we need students and script item analysis is a post examination stuff now we will go through steps involved in item analysis of selected response item step number one arrange arrange the answer script in the order of their score from the highest to lowest after arranging students answer, answer script in a descending order then like what we have to do is you have to form two groups first you can choose 10 student 10 students and script from the top that is from the high score in a merit wise and then you can name it as a top group then you can choose 10 10 students and script from the from the bottom starting from the lowest score and then you can name it as bottom group if you have large number of students in the class you can choose top one third or one fourth or bottom one third or one fourth to form a two groups step number two you should know that we can analyze one item at a time item analysis is a tedious yes it takes time 
you you also know that multiple choice you also know that multiple choice item usually has four option a b c and d and now you will yes you will find which option was chosen by each each student in the top group and record in table number 1 and then what you then after that you count for bottom group and record in table 2 If you look at the table one, you will see a student serial number in the first column, and then MCQ options in the first row. So what you can do is pick up students number one test paper. Sorry, number one students number one answer script, and then you can check the item, and then you can indicate which option he has chosen in the table. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Sorry, asterisk. Sign the table indicates the correct answer. That is key. So repeat for bottom as well. Now step number three. In step number three, find out the total number of students who has chosen option A, B, C, and D, and also omit it and record in record in table number three. If you look at table number three, we have MCQ option in the first column. then top group and bottom group in second column and third third column respectively so what you can do is you can add up the number of student who has chosen option a from table yes from table 1 and table 2 and then record in table 3 sometime student leave students simply leave as a blank so you can count this under omitted step number 4 On the step number four, you have to find the difficulty index. What is difficulty index? Well, difficulty index is a percentage of student who answer answered an item correctly. So we have formula to calculate difficulty index. Difficulty index is denoted by alphabet P, small letter P. So if you look at the formula, P is equal to number of students responding. Correctly divided by total number of students in the sample times hundred. So let's do one activity here. We will calculate difficulty index. In exam, you will do this kind of calculation, and you have to remember the formulas. If you look at the at the yes at the given table, yes, two students from the top group has chosen. option a and three students from the bottom group has chosen option a so here correct answer that is key is c that's why c is marked by yes asterisk sign can you see that one difficulty index yes you all know now you know that difficulty index is number of students responding correctly divided by number of student in the sample times 100 So total number of student in the sample is 20. That is 10 plus 10 is 20. Number of student responding correctly, yes, yes, is 3 plus 2. That is 5. So total number of student is 20. Then what we can do is 5 divided by 20 times 100 is 25 percent. Now we will look at the interpretation table, and then we we are going to interpret the this value. So. If you look at the interpretation table, 24% is very difficult. Now you can see that the item is very difficult. Step number five, we will calculate discriminating power. What do you think is discriminating power? So if you look at the formula, discriminating power is RT minus RB divided by N. RT is number of student who got correct answer in the top group. Then R B is number of students who got correct answer in the bottom group. N is number of examinees in either of the group. So how much an item can discriminate among the good student and a poor student is known as discrimination, or is also known as discrimination index or discrimination power. Let's do one calculation here. We will find discrimination index or discrimination power. Now, if you look at the table, number of students who got correct answer in the top group is three. Number of students who got correct answer in the bottom group is two. N is ten because number of students in one group in either of the group is ten. So when you calculate discrimination index, you yes, the n value is ten. But when you calculate uh, difficulty index, n value is twenty. 
So answer now, yes, what you can do is like after, calculation, after calculating, you will get answer 0 0.1. So let's look at the interpretation table. So 0 0.1 is a poor discrimination. So by looking at this, yes, as this value, we can say that we can remove this item because it does not discriminate well. So discriminated value should be 0 0.3. Acceptable discrimination value should be more than 0 0.3. We will discuss pattern of response in next class. Now, like as a like extended learning activity, what you can do is like you can practice the given question, where you can calculate difficulty index, discriminative power, and then interpret them. Thank you. Take care.